Good morning, everybody. Oh, I got gas. It's a new life for me. For me. So I'm out in Mead, Kansas. M E A D E. Kansas. Meade is a city in the county seat of Meade County, Kansas, United States. As of the 2010 consensus, the city population was 1,721. Meade was both laid out and incorporated in 1885. It was named for General George Meade. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 0.99 square miles. As of the 2010 consensus, there are 1,721 people, 670 households, and 454 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,738 inhabitants per square mile. There were 766 house units at an average density of 773.7 square miles. The racial makeup of the city other was 95.4% white, 1% African American, 41.5% Asian. Ah, uh, who cares? Uh, just some little gas station. Oh my goodness, that's a huge load there. Wow. It's in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. And finally, the gas prices are looking better. 259. That's the lowest I've seen it because I don't have the kickback points. That's great. Almost 20 gallons, almost 50 bucks. That's nice to see. I wish it would go down to like $1.50 a gallon though, like it was back in, I don't know, like 2008, 2009. That was so nice. Oh, I got gas. Peace out, I'm gonna hit the road again. I'm on the 54, going north. I'm gonna be going through Wichita today. All right guys, so I'm just outside of Wichita, Kansas now. Um, and for those of you that are wondering, Sober's doing all right. I'm not quite sure if the swelling has gone down at all yet, but it's only day one of the antibiotics. And I walked over to the Dairy Queen over there and came back. I have not had Dairy Queen in a long time. So I'm gonna grub down on this. Ought to be pretty good. You guys, this is why I support Flying J so much. I mean, I'll get gas every once in a while at a Loves, but I don't particularly like them a whole lot. Uh, check this out. Well, not to mention Loves doesn't even let you spend the night in their parking lots and they have signs all over the place, but Flying J does let you spend the night. But check this out, it's just, a lot of them have their own little islands for RVs. Um, and right over here, a lot of these Flying J's have dumps. No potable water here though. And they have propane. I'm gonna get propane right after this. I'm, uh, in Emporia, Kansas. I do wish they had uh, potable water, but it is what it is. And I'm getting gas. 2.59 a gallon, which considering uh, what it was on the West Coast when I left it, I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What is going on YouTube? I am driving through Iowa and I am at one of the covered bridges that were in the movie, The Bridges of Madison County with Clint Eastwood. Um, I'm about 14 miles away from the birthplace of John Wayne as well. Now, I've visited these places uh, back in the early 2000s. Um, I didn't record myself back then but uh, that's when you still had the little flip phones and you could just take little pictures of it. But um, this particular one is in St. Charles. And it's absolutely beautiful. Now I lose the sun. That's great. So obviously you're gonna have quite a bit of people, um, you know, writing their names on on it and everything. <laughs> I 
Do you guys remember that movie, The Bridges of Madison County? It's got these beautiful trees here. David's Path. This path is dedicated to David Williamson. David was injured in a farm accident in 1990. Life was made to be as enjoyed as, as endured. Okay. When I first pulled up, there was quite a bit of people here and there's not so much anymore. I think there's something like four or five other bridges. Maybe I could be totally wrong that we're in the movie, The Bridges of Madison County. Excellent movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. And you know, Clint Eastwood is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna get a picture here. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's a good enough picture. This one, this particular bridge right here is like right off of I-35. Quite a tourist attraction here. Let's get the walk around. So this is the beautiful little town of St. Charles, um, the one with the covered bridge here. And this is the welcome center here. Got a whole bunch of really cool stuff around here. It's got quite the small town feel here. And right now it's like the perfect temperature out. So going on a little walk is kind of nice. I'm uh, gonna go back and get on the road now. Pause my life while they drive by. Okay. Anyways, I've seen a lot of green fields on the way up here. And uh, it's a really nice change actually from the desert. All the greenery is just so beautiful. I can smell the sweet grass in the air, all the trees, absolutely beautiful. I'm in such a good mood. Look at this cool little sitting spot here underneath the tree that somebody set up. Very cool. Summer's back at the RV waiting for me. Ah, I love that smell. Now, just because I visited here, um, I'm gonna actually probably watch the Bridges of Madison County again tonight. Even though I've seen it a hundred times, it's, it's like the Shawshank Redemption. I can watch it a hundred million times. I've got kind of a lot of movies like that, actually. And I don't mind re-watching re many movies because they put so much time and so much money and so much work into creating each film um, that you can just enjoy it over and over and over again. And a lot of films, you'll get uh, new stuff out of it every time you watch it. What is that? LG seeds? I didn't know LG made seeds. <laughs> okay. So we'll do one last walk through the covered bridge here. And then I'm going to get back out on the road.
So this is the Imes Bridge. Um, I think it was built in the 1880s. Let me check the other side here. Obviously, it gets a lot of attention. A lot of people from the interstate are stopping by. Imes Bridge, built 1870, St. Charles, Iowa. Very cool. I got my pictures and video. Now wait, before you go, I have to tell you that I've got a lot of other videos that are really good and if you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy other videos that I have made. So I encourage you to click on one of these videos and continue watching my channel. Please share my videos and subscribe as well. So click on one of these videos. You'll be happy you did.